With millions of Americans traveling for New Year's Eve, it's going to be snowy, rainy, and downright frigid across much of the country. This was the view through the windshield for drivers in the Midwest as this system swept through the plains and began moving east, blinding conditions there. And from Minnesota tonight, look at the temperature reading, seven degrees below zero, and it's getting even colder. And in the middle of the Arctic blast, look at this. Emergency crews battling those temperatures along with this explosion of flames when a freight train derailed in North Dakota. Tonight, the map shows the scope of this paralyzing deep freeze now moving into the northeast. It is going to be a very cold New Year's Eve. We have team coverage tonight. Meteorologist Ginger Z is in Times Square for us, but we begin with ABC's Alex Perez in Minneapolis tonight. Alex. David, good evening to you. Here in Minneapolis, the city skyline is being swallowed by the steam rising as they try to keep those buildings and everyone inside them warm. Bitter and biting, the deep freeze with a tight, unapologetic chokehold over the Midwest. In parts of Minnesota, 30 to 40 below zero wind chills. Man, this is an Arctic. In Castleton, North Dakota, icebox temperatures and powerful winds. Another look at this dramatic new video showing crews responding to this freight train derailment. No reported injuries, but officials looking into potentially hazardous materials on board. Across Minneapolis, those forced to walk outside walked quickly, said little, and bundled up. What does it do to your body to be outside? Uh, makes you shake. This family out with their three-month-old daughter. This is our youngest, Ariella. Her baby carrier completely sealed. And you won't believe this. This popular waterfall here in Minneapolis turned into a crystal palace of ice. The temperature is so cold, it's completely frozen over. In Madison, Wisconsin, 14 below zero. So cold, this shelter quickly filling every available bed. Frankly, on nights like tonight, we just make room. We just make room. And here in Minneapolis and other parts of the Midwest, the bitter temperatures will linger and the cold is headed east. David? It looks cold. Alex Perez tonight. Alex, thanks. And of course, they are preparing for a giant crowd to gather in New York's Times Square tomorrow. A million people, in fact, quite a crowd there already tonight. Among them, ABC meteorologist Ginger Z and Ginger, in some spots you were telling me the coldest air of the season so far. Yes, and we keep saying that the coldest air of the season, but let's get right to the numbers because by tomorrow morning, now we're talking dangerous cold for so many folks. 26 below will be the wind chill in Minneapolis. We'll see a lot of those numbers in the single digits. And then I'm standing right here in Times Square with such a crowd behind me already, and we're going to have so many folks enduring temperatures that feel like they're in the single digits or low teens. You see right there the temperature, actual air temperature, going to be just under freezing. David? And, and Ginger, if you can hear me, you already have your in the first big storm of the new year? Yes, I do. That's Tuesday night into early Wednesday for Chicago. That's where that low pressure system going to come across. And then an offshore low going to grab some of that and could be a Thursday, Friday big snow event, especially inland. And in some of those higher elevated areas, we'll be covering this and fine tuning that forecast as it becomes available. David. All right, Ginger Z, we'll see you in the first thing in the morning on GMA. Thank you.